So did you know you can test how good your API really is in less than 10 seconds? We're going to use API Insights to see how good the Chet Mango API is. Let's go have a look. So what is Chet Mango? Chet Mango is an A-B testing application that you can use as a SaaS product to understand the conversion within your application. They've got an API, so let's look at it. So to download the API specification, you can use this link just at the top here. Click on download source, we can either download the JSON or the YAML version. So I've already downloaded this, so what I'm gonna do is just go straight to API Insights. What I can do, I can just drop that file right in there, and within a few seconds, I've got a report. So what does this report actually mean? We can see that it's got a score of D or 60 out of 100. And we can see that if we click here, we can actually see how that score is broken down. What's a D, what's a B, what's a C, what's an A and what's an F. So we can see that we've got an F for design, a B for performance, and an F for security. There's a number underneath each one that says how many issues that we've detected on that API. So let's just have a look at this design first. So what we're testing here is consistent pluralization, JSON support, versioning, rate limiting, consistent noun usage, robust responses, and are you using multiple HTTP methods or are you just using a GET or a POST request here or there and calling an API? So you can see that we've got four out of the seven possible scores that have failed. We're failing on the pluralization, JSON support, versioning, and rate limiting. So there could be reasons for some of these failures, but in reality, if we can't detect it, we should be able to detect it at this point. So now let's look at performance. You can see that the response size has been skipped. That's the first thing that's standing out to me. And if we have a look at that, we check and see if the response size is less than 100 kilobytes. And to get 100% accurate results, you do need to use a treble SDK. We can't tell too much from just your specification and a simple endpoint how good the performance of your API is in general. We can test basics such as headers and load time, network latency, any compression support that you've got registered. But to really understand the response size, we cannot tell that without some more information. So if you want to know more, go and use the Travel SDK and see how insightful it can be for you. But for this, we're looking at one main failure out of the potential six tests that we're running. So we're failing on compression here. And what we're looking for is, are you using Brotly or gzip compression headers? Are, are you doing content encoding headers in your specification or documenting them within your API spec? In this case, we're not. So we've marked that down for performance. We can see that you're using CDN cache, HTTP2, and the load time is actually pretty good. So now let's go down to security. We look at security, we can see again that there's six tests that we're looking at, and we're failing on four out of the six. So security is important, but we're failing on four out of the six tests that we check in API Insights. We're passing on authorization and secure URLs, which is great, it's a great start. But there's, from the looks of this, we're missing quite a few headers that we can add really easily to make sure that our APIs are secure. So overall, i would say that the Check Mango API is a pretty good API. It might have a score of D, but that does not represent how good of an API it really is. It just says that there are areas for improvement, much like you'd see in your PageSpeed Insights, or your Google Lighthouse score for your website. The idea of API Insights is to give you a benchmark to understand where you are and where you might want to look to improve. So check out API Insights today at apiinsights.io and let's see how your API measures up.